Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to, to the University of Cincinnati. My name is Nick Paddock. I'm an admissions counselor here at the university. And this is... Hi, everyone. My name is Cameron. Uh, I'm a freshman here at UC majoring in accounting business. And... Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Uzbekistan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Hajar uh, Saksaka. I'm from Morocco originally. Um, I'm a third year in UC uh, studying art. I am Jason Chambers. I'm a UC International Admissions Officer uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio, and we're here to answer any and all of your questions on this Facebook Live. So we are all from the International Admissions Office, and today we're going to be talking about cost. But before we do, we're going to um, wait for some people to join the live. And I do want to say, share some facts with you about the university. Um, the university is considered a mid-sized institution in the United States. Uh, we have a approximately about 28,000 undergraduate students, and about 35,000 of those students are international students. Um, we have about 350 academic majors, undergraduate programs, <clears throat> and of those, about 50 are ranked top 50 in the nation. So we're really proud of that. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it, shall we? Sure. Yep. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Okay, so today we're talking all about cost and affordability. So how you can make coming to, to the University of Cincinnati possible. Um, so as far as our tuition and whatnot, we're gonna let Jason kind of talk about what the tuition is at UC. Yeah, so you know we're a, a, a pretty affordable uh, four-year university uh, as far as public uh, universities go. A tuition for uh, students from the out of state, out of Ohio, is going to be twenty-seven thousand two hundred and forty-four dollars per year. That's for two academic semesters. Uh, the living expenses and all the associated fees outside of that, including room and board, your housing, meal plan, is going to be $14,668. Uh, health insurance, uh, which is required for all UC students to purchase, is going to be $2,360 for a grand total per year of $44,272. That's your sticker price for attending the University of Cincinnati undergraduate for one year. Um, so do we have tuition or uh, scholarship opportunities available? Absolutely, we are a merit-based scholarship granting institution. Um, what that means is that holistically, your application when you apply will be reviewed and all international students who complete the application are reviewed uh, for scholarship eligibility. Now, the average award is around $10,000 per year off of the $27,244. Awards can range between $5,000 and uh, upwards of uh, $16,000 to $18,000. Now, most of the scholarships that students receive are going to be based off of test scores and grade performance. We do look at applications on a holistic basis for some of our higher scholarship awards. But the majority of the scholarship eligibility is going to come from your performance on the tests, such as ACT, SAT, TOEFL, or IELTS, as well as a math placement test, and your grade point average from your four years of high school. So, can our students here, would you all like to share about um, your scholarship opportunity at UBC? Yeah, so I actually was a transfer student. I transferred from a community college and I received um, upon completing my application of a scholarship or grant for $15,000. Um, uh, that was definitely able to uh, take away uh, from my tuition expenses and I was able to uh, attend UC. Um, and it was really affordable and doable. And I'm pretty sure if you um, take two steps and necessary, they really, uh, review your application, um, like Jason said, merit-based, and if you have really great test scores, um, they will definitely like uh, offer you the help that you need. We really want a uh, talented student on campus, and I'm sure that they won't uh, pass on such great talent if you are um, like, you know, thinking about seriously coming to the United States. University of Cincinnati is a great, great, great university to come to. Like, um, it's really known, it's becoming really more and more known worldwide. Um, it has a great reputation uh, for the co-op programs. It has really amazing, um, like, med uh, campus. Um, it's just really an amazing university. It's a great time to be here. Thank you. Thanks. We're happy to have you.
Thank you. And w one thing about uh, Hajar's scholarship uh, dollar amounts is that that puts her tuition, if I'm not mistaken, in the range of in-state tuition. Absolutely. So $15,000 is our out-of-state student cost uh, extra than it. So Hajar is essentially receiving in-state tuition at this point. Yeah. And then there are also like scholarships that you can apply to like within your college that you go to. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, you could definitely apply for more things and you can get more dollars if you uh, like are in specific like major. Uh, so like it's definitely not just the end of that. And I've received a scholarship actually from that. So um, I go to, you know, I study architecture. So I'm in um, the uh, College of Art and uh, Architecture and Design. And they definitely have like opportunities for um, like students uh, who are out of state or uh, like not, even like students that are in state actually, just, you know, merit-based, um, if you submit like your portfolio, if you have a good GPA, uh, they're willing to like, you know, negotiate with you and give you some uh, like scholarships. And I will add our in-state tuition is just under $12,000, okay? And how about you, Cameron? So uh, I wish I could know all of the things before applying to UC, but the only thing that I knew is to pass the SAT exam and get the uh, as high score as possible. So I get, I took the SAT exam, I got 1300 on the SAT. This is why when I applied to UC, I got the scholarship, which is $10,000, uh, $10, um, which helped help my parents a lot to pay the, like to reduce the amount of uh, overall cost of attendance. Um, and uh, like, as Hajar said, um, you not only you can receive this kind of scholarship, but also you can apply uh, for scholarships within the UC and within the United States. But uh, uh, if you are applying to scholarships within the United States, like there are a lot of scholarships, the competition will be higher. And uh, so I just received the ten thousand scholarships, and I'm planning to apply to for other scholarships like um like within my college of business because i think i'm like i'm keeping my gpa as high as possible so this is why i'm like um i want to apply for scholarships to receive more yeah okay. that's great thanks, thanks. Yeah. yeah and you'll do it <laughs> Thank you. for sure so outside of scholarships there are other ways to help offset the cost of attending at uc um, what are some things that you two are doing to help pay for your tuition and cost of living and just general everyday expenses at uc <laughs> I can go first. Yeah. Um, so I know that like when I was coming here, I was looking for campus jobs. It's a great way for networking. It's a great way to earn some, you know, extra cash for living expenses and to even help you if you save some money, like for, to pay for tuition. Um, uh, also co-op. Co-op is a great opportunity. I can't emphasize what a, like beautiful opportunities you can get. It could get you across the country. In the United States, sometimes even ab abroad, um, it's a great learning experience. But not only that, what's great about it is that you get to earn money. Um, I just actually came back from a co-op in Seattle, Washington. Um, like it was very beautiful, it was really magical. Um, but it was on top of that, really nice to get paid for like just you know doing what I love, which is architecture. And then I just like at this level, you would think you know I'm second year, I like you know studying to become like um, an architect. I haven't had the, like enough like learning experience to work with, but I was getting paid $24 an hour. That was like really a great, like, you know, thing that helped me A, like save to pay for tuition, for rent, for other expenses on campus. Um, so I will say like, definitely as you go like in UC, it gets easier and easier to find opportunities to pay for tuition. So. Like as soon as you come here, um, it gets so much like there's so many opportunities as you go on in your four year to like find ways to like pay for your tuition. Uh, like I said, co-op, uh, working on campus, um, and there are definitely other like just networking in general. We even meet people like sponsors and stuff that you could just it's a great way to like, you know, present yourself and you know, you never know like future opportunities even after you graduate. So. So to explain what co-op is, um, at the University of Cincinnati, we have co-op offered in the College of Design, Architecture, Art, and Planning, Linder College of Business, 
and the um, communications communications program and the engineering uh, and applied science college. Um, essentially, students will take semesters off to go work full time for a company. Right, it's a great opportunity where you're not paying tuition, and during that time, you're paid an average of ten thousand dollars for your work. So, for example, how many co-ops have you done? I've done two co-ops so she's, far. She's done two so far, and how many will you do? I have one more. She'll do one more. So mm -hmm. she'll have three full semesters of work <coughs> that she'll gain professional experience, get to apply what she learns in the classroom, and earn approximately $10,000, depending on the location in the country or the world mm -hmm. and uh, what they pay, essentially. Absolutely. So it's a great opportunity to earn income if you fall within one of those colleges that you've seen. Okay, just to give you a little background. And I know that employers really like love to have UC students because they know how dedicated we are, how serious we are about this. Um, most people that like come here, um, it's very competitive, but like once you get in, it, you understand why it's a very rigorous program, um, and, but you learn a lot. And so like employers really crave that kind of fresh talent um, that is willing to work. So like you'll find like jobs and we have like 100 percent placements in co-op so you will find an opportunity in internship to like be able to uh, work and earn money so yeah yeah within the university there's an office headquarters and within the colleges where they organize the professional opportunities whether it's a co-op or internship so you don't have to go doing the search you don't have to get online and search for the position yourself it's done for you essentially so at UC there's a lot of work that staff like myself and other people on campus are doing to help make every student's life successful so for you, Cameron, are you looking forward to possibly internships? Yeah. Or co -op so within the Linder College of Business. As I'm a freshman, so I, I like I, I I haven't been in co-op or internship like uh, in any companies. But so when does I'm it, when does it start? When do you have the opportunity to start your co-op? Oh, I'm planning to like um uh, so in in a week we have a career fair which will be in in the University of Cincinnati. Uh, so there are going to be of like more than 300 employers from different companies and organizations. And <clears throat> so this is the great opportunity for students, especially for freshmen to find out, uh, to, to talk to people, to talk to employers, give them your elevator pitch, talk like uh, build a networking and get connections uh, as, mu as much as possible. And this great opportunity can give you the I mean, uh, going to this career fair can give you a great opportunity to be in co-op. Uh, so I'm planning to co-op this summer. Uh, I've been to Accounting uh, Leadership Conference Expo. Uh, there were more than uh, 10 uh, audit companies and organizations. I think it's 15. I talked to uh, almost 12 organizations and most of them are looking for um, sophomores, seniors, juniors, but not like freshmen. I think because like they want they want to hire people with the, with the experience, but for us we want to go for a co-op to get an experience and then like continue doing it like Hajar said she's been she 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 did uh, two co-ops so far and like um, um, so as I'm like uh, so far I'm 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 helping my parents to to reduce the tuition by working on campus. Um, so I work for UC International uh, and I'm very grateful and thankful to you guys that you hired me. Uh, I was We're actually, happy to have you. Thank you. Yeah. I was actually surprised like because um, I thought like as a freshman, you don't have an experience and people are looking for uh, experienced people. So I was mm -hmm. really surprised when I got the offer, job offer to work for UC International. That's a very responsible job here, I think. Uh, and I became more accountable and uh, responsible since I got here, uh, since I started working here. And I think it's a great place to work, to start your work, um, to build your resume, and get ready for future, future co-ops or internships. Yeah, and I think it's really important to highlight the, uh, the on-campus job opportunities. For a majority of our international students, yeah. you are limited to 20 hours a week of yeah. on-campus jobs. And it's important to uh, distinguish what Hajar has done with co-op as not an on-campus job, but you are, well, you were here on an F1 visa, um, which, uh, you know, when you go to, on co-op, you are allowed to work up to 40 hours plus a week 
on the co-op as a full-time job, but on campus, you're limited to 20 hours a week. Um, however, University of Cincinnati is a mini city in and of itself. There's 46,000 students that attend here, and we're one of the largest employers in Cincinnati. So there are plenty of on-campus jobs for someone like Cameron, who is in his freshman year, uh, to be in food service, work in the libraries, you can even get paid as a tutor, um, all kinds of different uh, opportunities for students to help run our mini city um, on uh, the campus itself. Yeah, I agree um, with what um, Jason just said and Cameron, um, like you highlighted really something important. Um, when I started, I started in the community college and one of the first things I've done, I've worked before like in my country, but like you know, most, it's not like an American thing. Like it's not as common to like go out and work while you're in college abroad. So like when I came here, I started like, like I applied for jobs and stuff and I, you know, got interviewed and I was kind of nervous because I was like, well, oh, this is really new to me. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but you really do gain a lot. Like you grow like professionally, you just, you just grow like as a person and you just gain so many interactions. You bring, gain friends, you like, um, gain money <laughs> and then like on top of that you gain like a lot of office experience so something that is very valuable and that employers look for is that they want you to be an asset they don't want to like excuse the term babysit like someone who's like a freshman but like you come in and you're like well here's my resume to show you that i'm really like i've a grown person professionally like i've done all of this experience so Definitely highly recommend like campus jobs. They really are a great opportunity that you don't want to miss on. Um, and plus on top of that, not only like is it great, it's flexible with your schedule. Like it's, I cannot like emphasize how grateful I am for international admissions because they're really flexible about my schedule. I have a very crazy set schedule and they're very nice about it. They're very understanding and they like try to fit the work within my very tight schedule. So like, that's another thing that is really important because they want to focus on your success as a student as well as, you know, a worker as well. So, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So to shift, to shift gears a little bit, I want to talk about affordability <clears throat> in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Um, UC is in a great location. It's a wonderful university. But in addition, it's also an affordable place to live within the United States. So would you two like to share about your experience moving to Cincinnati, Ohio? and uh, living in the area and kind of what that feels like and what the costs are associated with that. Your day-to-day, -day, maybe um, what you're paying for your housing. Yeah. If you're um, living on campus or off campus. Yeah, so I'm living off campus because I was a transfer student. Um, like my average rent so far for the past three years has been around $500. Um, a month? Yes, okay. a month with like <coughs> including utilities. Um, now, is that a one bedroom or is uh, it multiple occupancy? Yeah, it's multiple occupancy. It's like with other roommates. Mm -hmm. Most likely, like, um, you'll have roommates when you're in college. That's just like, you know, a normal thing. Um, but you could definitely find great roommates, like, you know, in classes and work. Um, they're like, don't worry. Like, as soon as you come here, it becomes really easier for you just to just meet other people. And you can find really great friends that can become roommates. Um, uh, the Ajar, you lived in multiple cities in this fine country of ours. <laughs> yeah. what, what would you say Cincinnati compares to uh, as far as cost of daily living, you know, relative to other cities that you've lived in? I'll say just fresh up my memory, like a meal in Seattle is like the average of like $18 or something like that. A meal average in here is like $7 or something like that. So I'll say there's like a big, big like, uh, like press, like adjustment when you move to another like another like part of the country mm -hmm. um and definitely cincinnati is like on the most affordable side like it's like i don't want to use the word cheap but it's really affordable like to be here um but yeah i lived in like the west coast like i know a lot of people loved california i lived in in san francisco it's expensive i'm telling you if you want to come to california you're just gonna have to be like really Maybe. rich yeah and um it's beautiful but it's really yeah. like just really expensive and i think it's just associated with like the fact that it's a really famous country or like famous city and like a lot of people go there but it's really like it's just cincinnati is just as beautiful i guarantee you like you'll find the same 
opportunities, whether you're in the West Coast or in Cincinnati, like it's just the, about like your personality. You just have to go out and get it. Like it's really amazing to be in Cincinnati just as amazing to be in the West Coast. Like mm-hmm. Seattle was really amazing too, but it's just really expensive. Like it's hard to go out like <laughs> and not spend money. Whereas in see C- I think Cincinnati, you could definitely just manage your way around like maybe spending twenty dollars a day, twenty five dollars a day and do actual great stuff. I guarantee you you'll lose twenty dollars just in Ubers in Seattle. <laughs> Literally going oh, yeah. from one place to another if it's like rush hour or something. So yeah, definitely. I would say Cincinnati's affordable. Side. It's very like pro your pockets. So yeah. <laughs> keep the money in your own pocket. Yeah. Very true. What about you? Yeah, Cameron? like ah, uh, I was gonna add something. Like if you are going to those major states like California or New York or Seattle, you will have to find a job there, which will be very difficult for you because, like as Hajar said, there are a lot of people who are going there and. The, like the competition to get a uh, to to get a job is really high, whereas in Cincinnati the cost of living and like living standard is relatively lower, uh, which like you're gonna find a job here, and afterwards you're gonna be able to afford your afford yourself, mm-hmm. and uh, so like um, before applying to UC. Uh, I've applied to 14 other universities, including like uh, Alabama, California, New York, Chicago, and Ohio, and Arizona and Texas. Uh, yeah, so the like, whole country. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all over. Yeah, like all over the country. <laughs> and uh, so I compared the cost of living, uh, the t- like total cost of attendance at the university. And uh, also one important factor is the crime rate. Um, I can say, I can surely say that Cincinnati is a really safe place compared to other states. And um, so the Cincinnati was um, relatively affordable compared to other states. And um, so even though I got more more scholarship in Arizona, uh, I got 18,000. Even though I got more scholarship, I came to Cincinnati because, like, I compared all of the uh, factors. Like, I, I made some research. Um, I recognize that, that Cincinnati, like, Ohio is the safe place to live on. Um, <coughs> and uh, also the, the tuition is uh, kind of affordable uh, compared to other universities, like in New York or in California, which is, like, uh, 15, 50, 60, or 70 uh, grand for international students, which is really, really high. Mm-hmm. And my parents were just scared of those numbers. And like when I when I showed the, the tuition and like the total cost of attendance to, to attend the University of Cincinnati, like they were like they were okay with that. And uh, it's really hard yeah. as a student. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameron, in your analysis, how did the housing factor in? as far as on-campus housing. Hajar talked about off-campus housing, $500 yeah. a month. What was your experience with the cost of living on on campus? Yeah, I, like before saying that, I, would, uh, I was gonna say, I'm so thankful for the University of Cincinnati because they require freshmen to live on campus in their, in their first year, which is a really, really great opportunity for, for, um, for freshmen, for fresh student to come to UC meet new people, make, mm-hmm. make as many connections as possible. Um, and also like living on campus is really great for me because like you get the proximity, like you live on campus, you're gonna save a lot of time. Everything is close to you. So let's say I live in Schneider Residence Hall, uh, which is really close to College of Business. It takes me, if I'm in a hurry and I'm like walking fast, it, take, it takes me like three minutes to get into a uh, college of business, which is really good. And uh, also like right next to my residence hall, there is a on the green, which is a, uh, one of the most delicious places. Like they have most delicious meals on campus and like the, the, which is my favorite dining hall here on campus. And like, it takes me two or three minutes to get into this uh, dining hall. So what I'm saying is that you save a lot of time, you meet a lot of people, you make a lot of friends, 
make connections. And I think connections are really powerful um, in this uh, world of business. And uh, in any also, world to be yeah, yeah, in our major yeah, world. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, like, um, oh, by living on campus, you get the. I paid. Um, I was going to ask you, what do you pay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, fourteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars, which includes uh, room and board, like uh, housing and unlimited meal swipes, which is a very great thing. <laughs> you get to. You're eat. hungry a lot. I mean, yeah, like <laughs> as a, as a student, student, yeah, as yeah. a student, and you get the unlimited meal swipes. You can go and eat where, whenever you want, and how many times you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. And also, you get fifteen guest swipes, which is a very great thing. Sometimes, if you um, if you wanna if you wanna meet like more people, you can uh, offer them a meal swipe. You can invite invite them to the dining hall sit down and like have a cup of coffee or um, whatever meal you want and I think it's a really great thing to live on campus and I'm very thankful to, for the university that they require first year students to live on campus because like before before coming to the university students do not realize how beneficial and useful it is for you and for your like uh, future life. Mm. Did you have something to add? Yeah, I will say one thing. I didn't live on campus, but I did work as a desk assistant um, in Stratford Hall. Um, shout out to Red in Stratford Hall. Um, <laughs> but they, like, I was basically like a concierge for like, you know, the residents. And I'll tell you, their rooms are really nice. Um, sometimes you get your own room, your little desk, and like, you know, your walk-in closet. They're very cute, and I'm pretty sure there are resources on on the website where you could look up into like, um, like kind of like an online virtual tour. Um, and it's very like safe. There was literally like, um, you see like police going around, like, you know, every now and there to check on the residents. It's so nice like to live on campus. And like Cameron said, it's literally like two steps away from like everything on campus. Mm -hmm. So. It's, I will say it's really like um, great to live on campus. Plus you don't have to meal prep and like leave that for old people. So um, I will say it's really great to just walk in on yeah. campus and the dining hall and just eat and then leave and you don't have to worry about dishes or anything. So yeah. yeah. So to add to that, we have 11 residence halls on our campus and the cost range is about 11,500 up to 14,500 depending on the type of style you choose to live, which is traditional style where you have a shared room um suite style which is your own individual bedroom with the bathroom and then apartment style okay outside of housing there are fees that you all pay campus fees essentially mm -hmm. give you access to rec center and other things on campus do you want to share about the other things that opportunities on campus that are included in your fees that you pay like student government organizations mm -hmm. uh, the shuttles. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not sure how much exactly you pay, but these fees are included into your, uh, like, tuition and fees portion. And um, I think, like, these numbers may seem, like, large, but you get, like, a lot of things. Um, I'm, I'm not, like, I wouldn't say for free, but you have, like, you are paying for those things. You get the uh, campus rec center, which is a wonderful opportunity for you to stay in shape. Um, you can go to the gym. I go to the gym three times a week. Um, you you can go like they have swimming pool, they have climbing wall, they have running tracks. So everything to stay in shape, like to to be like to uh, follow the fitness life, and. Uh, Additionally, you have access for libraries um, with like one of the big, um, I think the biggest library is Langston Library. Mm -hmm. That's the central library. Yeah, the central li library <coughs> and uh, you have access like to like a lot of information. They have a lot of books there. Um, you get the... Um, you get um, shuttles. Yeah, you get shuttles. Seven to ten shuttles per week. Right? Yeah, all yes. over campus. All over campus, community. and also I think off campus too. Yes. Yeah, uh, which is a great opportunity if you leave off campus. Like if you leave off campus, there is a shuttle. Um, not everywhere, but in some exact places, which helps you to get into campus and back like back and forth. 
Does that mean you don't need to pay for a car? You have a cost of a no, car? No, you don't have to pay. Yeah, like the fees for uh, for shuttle is included in your tuition at least. So the campus is, I would say, very walkable, right? Yeah. Right, guys? Yeah. It is. 15 minutes across campus in a leisurely stroll. It mm -hmm. is. There are like really, there are so many resources, honestly, that guarantee success for students here. Um, I will say the rec center is one of them. I don't usually exercise, but I do go swim in a lot, and I do play sometimes basketball with my friends. So they have awesome. great basketball courts, yeah. definitely nice. You hear a lot of yelling, <laughs> a lot of sliding. I do horrible, but you know, it's there for you. Um, um, they also have, um, like I will say one of the biggest things like for me is they have like mental health resources. They want you to succeed. There is like, um, it's called CARES. Um, it's like mm -hmm. literally um, people who are certified in that domain to like um, be able to ensure that you're doing okay, that you're not stressed out you this it's a great like resource for you to like go to when you are overwhelmed with classes and other things um there are other opportunities like ipals like um which is like for international students where you can go and meet other international students you can practice your english um what other things for, for international students yeah and for organizations we have over 500 organizations at uc yep. and some of the fees included for students help support the organizations on our campus yeah yeah i was in studying uh, student government actually um last year i was a mm -hmm. chair for yeah i was chair oh. for equity and inclusion mm -hmm. um so i i loved it it was really nice and it's just a great organization because you get to serve uh students on campus you get to represent them and speak for them um and speak for the rights and like we were able to ensure like a freezing tuition so so you guys don't have to pay any more money. So, <laughs> Thank um, you. yeah, seriously, shout out to student so government. You yeah. bring up a big important topic: um, tuition and the freeze in tuition. Yeah. Do you want do you want to explain that, or would you like for us to explain it? I'll let you handle All that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so for our tuition, um, it is it is frozen. <laughs> Whatever you pay the first year, it's what you will pay for your entire program. So if you're in a four year program, your tuition will remain the same the entire time. If you're in a five year program, like the jar you'll pay the same amount for the five years, it will not increase. So that was implemented last year. We're really excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, for international students, um, anyone that's out of state will have a small one to 2% increase, right? Based on the difference between in-state and the out-of-state surcharge, but it is not gonna be as robust as um, maybe historically for our institution or another institution that had yearly increases on tuition across the board, okay? So there is some savings there for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to plan the ability and anticipate your estimated cost from, from your family, uh, knowing that your tuition will not increase by any significant amount throughout your entire um, life cycle of your degree. Uh, as your scholarships that you receive, uh, about 70% of students who, uh, who are admitted to UC get some kind of scholarship, and that scholarship lives with you and stays on your bill as long as you maintain the eligibility requirements of a decent GPA and some community service hours throughout the entire four or five years of your degree. So you can estimate uh, to a fairly high level of accuracy what you'll be expected to pay uh, throughout your four or five years here. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll wrap it up. So just to recap, we'll, we'll introduce ourselves again for those of you who may join this later. I'm Nick Paddock. I'm an admissions counselor here at the International Admissions Office, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I'm Cameron. I'm from Uzbekistan. Uh, I'm a first year student here at UC, working for a UC International Admissions Office as a student ambassador, and I'm like majoring in accounting business. Hi, I'm also uh, here as a student uh, ambassador. Uh, I am, uh, I'm Hajar by the way, sorry. <laughs> I'm from Morocco and I'm a third year architecture student. And I'm Jason Chambers, uh, assistant director here at International Admissions um, and I'm from Cincinnati. Um, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And yeah, we really appreciate it. We hope this is informative for, to you. If you catch this after it airs, you watch the video. <laughs> If you have any questions at all, you're welcome to um, write directly on the video um, as a comment, or you can go to uc.edu um, and look up our contact information. All right, so we're going to sign off. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. Bye. Talk to see you.